Hey guys, Michael from Economy here. I'd just like to start off by saying a big, big apology to one of our followers, Brenda. Brenda, if you're listening, I'm so sorry. I had no idea YouTube had a messaging part, and so I did not see your message till last night when I was going through old emails. So for everyone else, um, Brenda asked me if I can make a video on the child breakpoint test, and hopefully it's not too late for her. It's not too late to help you lot. So here it is. Now for those of you who don't know, the child breakpoint test is used when you have time series data and within your sample there is a moment in time where you believe a real world event may have affected the trend and it's affected in such a way that you believe by splitting the regression so that there are two smaller regressions on each side of this point in time you might get more accurate results and that is what the child breakpoint test does so in order to start the test you have to run the regression so I'll just do that quickly here uh, just make a simple one fossil C and two right so we've run a simple regression here now thankfully eviews being the program that it is likes to make things easy for us to do the child breakpoint test all you have to do is go to view stability diagnostics and child breakpoint test now you choose the time period in question so for me sorry for me looking at the data here I'm gonna choose 2008 as my cutoff point if you're using monthly data you have to put in the date for the exact month uh, if I just go in here, type 2008, OK. And here we have our F stat. Now that is what you need to do this test. So you go to your book, go online, just find the F stat table. You know, now your degrees of freedom for this will be K and N minus 2K. Now once you've found that from the F table, eViews helps you out even more and gives you the null hypothesis here, which is that there are no breaks at the specified breakpoints. So what that means is, if you can reject the null hypothesis using your F stats, then your hunch was right. It is more effective to use two smaller regressions split at that point in time than it would be to use the original regression. And so there you have it. Now I'd just like to say once again to Brenda, I am really sorry how long this took to come out. Um, in the future, it's a lot easier to just get in contact with me on the Twitter page for this site. And that is at Econo underscore me underscore. Now you can tweet me, send a direct message. Doesn't matter. It's a lot more effective of getting a hold of me because it goes straight through to my phone and this goes to all of you out there even if it's not about eviews or econometrics just economics as a whole I'll, I'll try my best if you're an undergraduate I can almost certainly help you postgraduates depending on your area of expertise I may be able to help you out personally if not I can put you forward to other people who could and that's it. Hopefully I can get another video up soon. Until then guys, take care and goodbye.